Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. My name is Katie. I just filmed this intro like a thousand times and I have no idea what to say. I just left Target. I found a bunch of organizational stuff. I strolled through the aisles there. They have a lot of really good stuff actually that's like comparable to the container store. So I was just looking and browsing to see if there's anything there that I could use in my bathroom. Um, and I also placed an order for Amazon. Um, I got a shelf for my bathroom and my goal for this video is to just declutter, go through stuff, get rid of stuff that I don't want and that I don't need, make everything look really pretty and really cohesive. So I'm going to show you what I got. I just ordered like a bunch of random stuff just to see if it works. Checked all the dimensions of everything before I ordered it just to make sure it would fit on the shelf. This is really cute. Oh my gosh. I'll cut this tag off. I don't like that. Super cute. And it has like little like leather handles. And the shelf is like this exact width. So wow, these are really, really cute. And then this is a smaller one. I really like this. Got a couple more things. I just wanted to have enough stuff to like mess around with. What I don't use all the turn, but I wanted to have a good amount of organizing things. I just like picked some really cute containers and just said place order. <laughs> These are those like little crates that you can break down. I just think these are gonna be so awesome for like skincare and hair stuff. Aren't these so great? I just, I love the way these look. This one is exactly the same size as that one. They do make smaller ones too, but I just thought the tall ones would make everything look more aesthetic because it's not gonna show like the colors of the product and the colors of the label. I was looking for something that was taller, if that makes sense. And this is gonna be tough because I, I feel like I love all of these organizers. I was planning on returning half of this. <laughs> I might not be able to because these are all so cute. I really liked the color of these and I like that they have lips. That was my goal. They're just like a really neutral, good color, like not white, kind of off-white. The lids actually snap on, which is so cool. Oh my gosh, these are like better than I thought they would be. These stack up. So wow. Oh my gosh, what a good little Amazon store haul. I love all this stuff so much. And last but not least, we have the actual shelf. It said on Amazon that it was really easy to assemble, so I'm going to just knock it out right now, get it over with. Okay, that was extremely easy to put together. I'm not totally obsessed with the marble, but I think it works. This was definitely the cheapest one Amazon had. I had a picture hanging here for a while and it, the little metal hook. This one right here on the back of the picture rested my wall. This is like the perfect little size for my apartment. It's really petite and small and I'm excited to organize it. Okay, it's the next day now after putting together the shelf and doing a bunch of other work related stuff. Yesterday, I just got kind of like ready to chill. So I decided to call it for the night and I'm gonna pick back up where I left off. I wanna pull everything out of my drawers, organize it into the little bins, and then get them styled on the shelf. So let's get started. I just wanna show you the current state of my bathroom drawers, which I feel like are pretty organized actually, like not too bad at all. I just don't really like how, like I have my makeup in this table. By the way, I switched caboodles. Did you see my last video where I was so excited about that one at Ross? Um, it was great and amazing, but I wanted one with a mirror and this one opens up and has a mirror and the latch is really strong. So I have all my makeup in there. But the problem is I don't have a place for my washcloths because I use those on my face every single night. And that was my original motivation for wanting to get this organized. Like this is organized but messy. Like I just can't quite see what I want, get to what I want. But the other reason is because of this horrible situation. And you know what this means? This means there's a ginormous closet declutter clean out organizing video coming to my channel very soon because this is unacceptable. But I have this little cart 
that I was originally so proud of. Hold on, I gotta get it out. Give me an hour. I just rolled it out so I could give you some better lighting, but I have this little cart that I was originally so proud of and I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna make this be my hair care cart and I'll keep it in my closet and whenever I do my hair, which is like not that often, I'll roll it out in front of the mirror and I'll stand there and I'll do my hair. It's a great place to store all of my hair products. And um, yeah, that is a great idea in theory. It really is, but the problem is I don't have space in my closet for this. My closet is miniature. I don't have a pantry. I don't have a linen closet. I don't have upper cabinets in this apartment. Like everything in this apartment, the storage is very minimal. So um, I just don't have the space to keep a hair care cart in my closet. Like I need a dresser. I need a dresser in my room and I need space for my clothes in here and my like toolkits and other stuff. You'll see that in another video. That's not important right now. I wanna get all my hair care stuff out of here and put it on the shelves in my bathroom and use this cart. Maybe not at all. I might just, I don't know. I mean, it's so cute though. I thought about just putting this in my bathroom, but I didn't wanna do that. I have all my little containers sitting right here and I think I'm gonna start off by deciding how I want them arranged on the shelves. So I have a little pile here of stuff that I'm gonna get rid of. I got these on Amazon a while ago. They're supposed to like help dry your hair and I had such high hopes for them, but they just didn't really work for me. Maybe I'll hold on to them and give them another shot, but they're like a towel material and I just thought that they pulled and tugged at my hair. This is my favorite perfume in the whole entire world. It's Sonia Kasha. It's been discontinued and you know what I did is I tried to use it so sparingly and save it because I knew I could never find it again. And now it's like gone bad and I tried to wear it the other day. It did not smell good anymore. It's ruined. So I'm gonna part ways with this, which breaks my heart. Sonia Kashuk, please make this again. There's just, I can't find a perfume that compares. This stuff was great. I used it a lot. I don't know, I'm just over it. So getting rid of that. This is great too. It just smells a little bit too sweet for me and I never wear it. So I'm getting rid of that. I used all this. This is actually really good deodorant. If you like natural deodorant, I like this a lot, but I I used it all. I don't know why I've been hanging on to it. This stuff I bought because of Dr. Dre. She loved it and I just did not love it. It's really slippery. It's really like, I don't know. It just, I didn't like it. I don't know. So I'm getting rid of all this. I think I'm gonna get rid of this bag too just cause it's like so dirty. I actually don't have a whole lot. Like this is my hair products. These are too tall to fit. So I'm gonna stand those up on the shelf. Hot tools I can't fit in any of these baskets. So I'm gonna put these in my bathroom drawer and I actually, I feel like I should get rid of a couple of these. I'm going to think about it and see what I reach for over the next couple of weeks. I'm going to start moving this stuff back into the bathroom and going through my bathroom drawers.
Okay, I'm ready to catch y'all up to speed on my progress. Let me zoom out a little bit here. So I still have some things that I need to work through. I got this cute little Lazy Susan at Target and I don't think I'm gonna use it in the bathroom because it's black, but I was hoping to find a place for it. I can't find a storage for the cotton balls. I'm just gonna maybe put those in my closet or something. But here is the grand finale of the shelf. I have all of my pads and liners and like feminine products down here in these two bins, which is gonna be great because when I'm on my period, I can just like move the bin over here and then leave it there for like however many days and then move it back. And here, I have all hair stuff, all of my hair products. And here I have mostly tanning stuff. This is not tanning, it's just extra and I had nowhere to put it. I really wanted to display this because I love the packaging. By the way, this is the best self tanner on earth. I've tried a lot and I like this way better than the other one. What's the name of it? I can't remember. Anyway, this stuff is so good. It doesn't stink and it doesn't stain your sheets. And I have white bedding, so I really, 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 really love that. And also the color. I don't mean to go on and on about this, but the color of this tanning stuff is like a really good tone. I have really pink undertones and a lot of tanners kind of tend to look, I don't want to say orange because I feel like we're past that in tanning products, but they just tend to not look like a natural tan on me. And that one does. And here I have my everyday lotions and then nail polish remover. I'm almost done with this one. I can't wait to get rid of this bottle. And then this is my little backup. And this I put in my hair. Trader Joe's comes out with this like once a year. I absolutely love this stuff. I put it in the ends of my hair and it smells really good. And then I have my bentonite clay in there just randomly because I didn't have anywhere else to put it. This is like mainly backup products. I have my backup elf creams and then all of these little things right here are face masks. And then this is just a little pill organizer, but I use it for jewelry when I travel. So I just put that in there. Then this is going to be all washcloths. A lot of my washcloths are dirty and they're so stained from like dyeing my eyebrows and taking off my makeup. Up. So I was thinking like, do I want to get all new washcloths and make this like really fancy and pretty? This basket would be typically full of washcloths. So, and that was like literally my main goal was finding a place for my washcloths. So that's going to be great. And then in here, I this is extreme. I don't need this many claw clips. I have my comb in here, all of my little like ponytail things, but I actually use these little claw clips all the time and it's just nice to have a big open basket for them. These are little, I wish I could link these for you because they're so cute, but they were candles from Target and I burned through the candles, cleaned out the wax and I just put my cotton balls and Q-tips in there and then I have my aloe plant, one of my favorite, favorite plants that I own and I'm gonna get a really cute pedestal to put it in so it has some height. So that's what's going on, that's my update. I wanted to kind of reorganize these shelves a little bit, but I don't have time for that today. I have another video coming out that's like apartment updates and some redecorating that I just finished up doing. So I'll probably include um, redoing these bathroom shelves in that video, but I just wanted this one to kind of be like strictly um, creating some storage space. Yeah, like adding some storage to a small rental bathroom. Oh, and let me show you my drawers. So unfortunately underneath my sink started leaking, I noticed. So I have to call my landlord. This is like hard water that dried there. I have to call my landlord and have him come fix under my sink. So I'm just leaving this space empty until he fixes it. And this is just my little organized everyday drawer. This is Mark's bucket, that's all his stuff. These are like my sunscreens and my deodorant, face creams, serums, all that stuff. This is like backup makeup. I probably need to just trash it at this point cause I never use it and I've had it for a long time. It's probably expired. I just keep it there. Um, and then some more serums. And then this is just my little bucket of like my little eyebrow comb, my little nail scissors, mascara I wear every single day, my gua sha, like backup razor blades, like just, you know, the random crap that needs a spot. And under here, I ended up taking my hot tools out of that plastic bin because it just took up too much space. Filed them all here. I'm gonna see which ones I end up using often. And the ones that I don't use, I have to get rid of. I should probably get a new hair dryer because I think this one is like 15 years old. This is my backup body lotion. This is like my makeup brush cleaner, my eyebrow dyeing kit, my hairbrush. And then I have my little mirror right there. And then I have my caboodle. And my little storage cart is completely empty. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this thing now. I will probably use it in some form or fashion. And then I have a little box right here to donate that has the extra containers I didn't need. This is the stuff I'm getting rid of, not this. 
and not this. Although, how do we feel about the shape of these nails? I've never tried these, but they seem a little square, so I'm not totally sure. This is the stuff I'm getting rid of that I already showed you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!